Hi there everybody. I'm going to show you guys in this video how to copy a class in Google Classroom. It can come in very handy if you want to save yourself um, time from year to year. So you can see here I've got my Google Classroom. Uh, the first thing we need to go do though is to click on these three lines up here and then we're going to click on Archive Classes. Okay, I'm going to find this is the government six hour class that I want to copy. So I'm going to click on the three dots that are right here. Call that the stoplight. Click on that stoplight and then uh, click on Restore. Now you could probably do this by making the copy here in the archive classes. Um, I like to do it this way though. All right, so now we're going to go to the regular classes. Now you'll see that this um, uh, class has been restored. Okay, so what we're going to do now is copy it. We're going to call it Government 2020. And this is going to be a fourth hour class now this year. And hit copy. Now it's going to take a moment for it to actually um, copy the class and um, so you can then start using it. So we'll just give it a second here. All right, so as you can see here, the class has now been copied and created. We're going to get rid of this original one now. I click it on that stoplight right there and we're going to re archive that. All right, so now you've got a copied class. Let's take a quick look at it. Okay, so there's nothing in the stream, so that's a good thing. It doesn't copy over the stream from last year because well, that would be confusing and you, you don't need that. Um, but up here, when you click on Classwork, you're going to see now all of the different assignments that I assigned last year. All I have to do now to assign one of these, for example, we'll click on, uh, let's see, Chapter 1, Incomplete Notes here. Okay, you'll see it's kind of grayed out right here. That means that it's in draft form right now. So what it does, and it says draft right here. When it copies a class, it copies a draft of each one of these assignments. So you still have to actually assign it. So if you click on one here, and then we'll click on Edit Assignment, <clears throat> all you have to do now is click on Assign. And it will assign that, and the students will now be able to see it. Okay, so this is a shortcut that might uh, help you guys save some time when it comes to using Google Classroom from year to year.